I don't feel so good. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Sir, please. Please, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Refnox, and today we're going to be reviewing the Marvel Legends Avengers Infinity War Iron Man Mark 50 and Iron Spider 2 pack. And this is looking ooh, This is looking fantastic. With all the little crazy accessories. You got the shields and stuff. Oh, it looks so great. So good. You can see uh, some really nice artwork of Iron Spider with the little logo of Marvel Legends on there. You get some artwork of Iron Man, really sick. Marvel Legends again, Marvel spot varnished on it. Get the bottom, and you get the back with the poster for Avengers Infinity War. Spider-Man's missing though, and Iron Man's wearing a helmet this time. You got a description of Iron Man here. You got a description of Iron Man here. And with that out of the way, let's get these figures out of the packaging. And here are the figures out of the packaging. And I'm looking at them, I'm looking at them right now, and they look really fantastic. The arms on the Spider-Man look amazing. Everything else is so great. Uh, they come with a lot of accessories. So let's talk about those now. And here are Iron Man's accessories, and there is a ton of accessories. You got this little big nano blasters. They are removable, which is really cool. I'll show you. Just connect them through. It's nice and see-through. It looks really nice. You get these two normal blast effects. The usual, the usual effects here. You get two sets of hands. You get open palm looking hands. This one's warped. It's just, just warped. Look at that finger. Then you get these two fisted hands. And you, got, you get this really, really nice looking shield. It's really nice. You just clips on easily. Like so. There we go. Pretty good. Pretty good. Cool looking blasters. I wish they had like little blue effects here to look like it's about a blast, but what we get here is really nice. And now the accessories for the Iron Spider. You get this really, really nice looking Tom Holland head sculpt. I'm not a big fan of how the hair is done. It's pretty goofy. Well, mostly just that little part looks really goofy. And it looks really nice. It does kind of look like Tom Holland. Yeah, kind of looks like some other actor, but looks decent. And then now for the spider legs. They're really nice. Really nicely sculpted, really movie accurate. Just doesn't really have the color schemes yet, but you know, you can paint that in. But I have some complaints with mine. Because one of these is my little brother set. This one is the other one that I got. I tried to fix it, but I got it even worse. I, I did even a worse job. And look, you see this part? You see this part right here? It's really long. You got a little divider right here. What in the fuck is his excuse? Seriously, are you kidding me? You kidding me? I paid fifty dollars for that little thing, and I got fucked. But they poured on the figure easy and flush, like, like that. Really nice. The posability on these is really nice. They can move up, you know, they can move up and down for the figure. They can move here and hinge there, swivel there, swivel here too. A hinge here, this is this is one piece, and a swivel here as well. With the accessories out of the way, let's check out the figure and whoa, it is looking really, really fantastic. The reds is looking fantastic. It looks really great. The lighting right now is not doing it any, any justice at all. <clears throat> uh, the gold here is absolutely fantastic. Um, 
everything else is great. The sculpt in this is identical. It's just, I prefer this red from the previous one. It was absolutely garbage. It was really, really bright. It, the camera right now is not doing it justice. It looks really bright at the moment, but I am truly saying that it's such a great red. And now let's check out the possibility for this Iron Man. This is like any other normal Iron Man. You can move up that far, that far, look down that far. He can look to his his left and his right, and at that no head tiltage. His arms can move out that much. 360 bicep cut, double jointed elbows. Wrist can move up and down. Swivel over here. He has a diaphragm joint, so you can some tiltage or a lot of tiltage. You can crunch up that much, crunch down that much, kicks forward that much, moves back that much. Thigh cut, double jointed knees. His feet can move up and down, and a pivot, and a decent spread. And now here is Spider Man. He's looking really great. Also, just a re release. But I think they changed up the gold. I think the gold here is a little more flashy, and I like it. You can see the gauntlets, the little web shooters right here. You got the little uh, area for the for the spider legs. Pretty good, pretty good. Just it it is the same figure, but it <clears throat> it feels different. It's probably the brighter reds, the somewhat darker blues that just shine a lot more it looks pretty good for a repaint and now for the posability for spider-man he can move up and down he can move to his left and his right no head tiltage his arms can move out that much he has a butterfly joint here he can move 360 here uh, bicep cut double jointed elbows his wrist can't move that much up due to the gauntlets, but that's how much they can go. They can go down, swivel here. He has a diaphragm joint. He can crunch that much and move back that much. You can work these little spider tongs here. They work great. He has a waist swivel, a really nice ratchety waist swivel. He can kick out that much. A decent spread, thigh cut. Double jointed knees, his ankles can move up and down and a nice ankle pivot. And now time for some size comparison. Iron Spider in the red and black suit from Far From Home. The first Infinity War Iron Man. Mark 7 Iron Man. I don't get the height difference like holy sh And there's my review for this two pack. This two pack is really, really fantastic. But I just wish that I did not have that stupid defect of whatever this fucking monstrosity is. And I think it's the only complaint that I, I have. Because everything else is alright, but just that complaint, just, uh, it hurts. It hurts. It really does hurt my soul. I'm glad that my little brother also has this two packs so I can take some good photos with the figures. If I didn't have that defect, I will rate this figure back solid solid 10 out of 10 but with my defect just mine I have to give it a 6 out of 10 it just ruins the immersion for me and I lost the pin so I'm gonna have to do some risky moves with my figure I'll catch you guys next time you got to swing but you got to save your soul